Hello everyone. So today we will start with a new lab. So that is the real time kinematics. So it is a uh, technique. Uh, 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 we can use this technique to uh, precise our locations. So today we will uh, show you uh, uh, a field demonstration that how we can use the real time uh, real time kinematics uh, and we can. Uh, 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 mark our positions on this globe with a very uh, high precision, with a uh, accuracy of centimeter level. So, uh, uh, what is RTK? So, RTK is your, uh, uh, it's include the two uh, uh, GPS station, that one is your base station and the another is your rover station. So, uh, so in real time kinematics, as I was discussing that uh, you, you, you will having two uh, 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 GPS station that is your uh, one is your base station and another is your rover station. So how it it works? So basically you will be having one base station. So suppose this is your base station and you will be having another station that would be your rover station. So this this base station is static. You have to fix this station at one place. And then uh, your rover station, this uh, rover station, you have to uh, move this rover station to collect the data. So all your data will be uh, 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 will store in uh, in the, your uh, rover station. So how it uh, work or how it uh, acquire the accuracy of centimeter level? So uh, uh, it uh, this is a GPS receiver. So it receives signals from the satellites. So suppose this 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 these are your satellites. So different satellite has been launched by different uh, space agencies. For example, the most famous you you might know the that is the uh, GPS, the Global Positioning System. That uh, uh, that uh, uh, satellite has been launched by the NASA. Similarly, uh, there are another uh, GNS uh, satellites are available. For example, uh, the Chinese uh, space agency has uh, launched the Baidu and then, then GLONASS and then your Galileo and the uh, obviously the Indian satellites is NAVIC. So the uh, most famous uh, uh, the satellite system which people are using worldwide is the GPS. So this GNS receiver can receive signals from GPS, uh, Galileo, uh, GLONASS uh, and, as, and by the as well. So today we will give a demonstration that how this uh, we can use this uh, uh, the GS14 uh, receiver that we we have in our lab. So with this GS14 receivers, how you can uh, uh, achieve a uh, accuracy of centimeter level. So this uh, this this receivers the, the base station is receive signals from the satellite. So these these are all your GNS satellite. So it receives signals from the uh, from from your satellite and. Uh, this uh, actually calculate your uh, uh, this this signals are, has been uh, in 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 case of RTK the signals has been uh, transferred to this uh, receiver by the carrier method. So this carrier method is a high uh, high accuracy uh, technique, and this uh, the, with this using this carrier technique, uh, one can achieve a accuracy of up to centimeter level. So the the, the, the another method is your DGPS that is the uh, uh, DGNS. NSS differential global navigation satellite system uh, and this this uh, DGNS is basically using your code based technique and this RTK is using your carrier based technique. So these are two different technique and these, these, these are basically your uh, method of uh, the signal uh, transferring from your satellite to your uh, receiver stations. So in the RTK case these signals are uh, 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 receiving this uh, uh, base station or your rover station in the carrier format. So this uh, the signal it it basically calculate the uh, range between the uh, your satellite GNS satellite and the receiver through this uh, carrier waves by the uh, by multiplying the number of carrier and the uh, uh, and, and the uh, the phase or the time or range is has been calculated by the the uh, the number of uh, signal or the carrier received and multiplied by the wavelength. So this technique actually gives you the distance uh, between your uh, or it calculate the positions uh, of this uh, receiver on the globe. So by this carrier technique, 
ये वन कैन अचीव ए एक्यूरेसी ऑफ सेंटीमीटर लेवल सो हाउ हाउ दिस टेक्निक एक्चुअली वर्कस और हाउ दी सेंटीमीटर लेवल एक्यूरेसी हैज़ बीन डन सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट दिस बेस स्टेशन यू हैव टू सेट अप एट एट ए एट ए एट ए प्लेस एंड देन दिस बेस स्टेशन विल रिसीव सिग्नल फ्रॉम दी जी एन एस सेटेलाइट एंड दिस सिग्नल्स बिल दिस बेस स्टेशन और द बेस रिसीवर विल कैलकुलेट इट पोजिशन ऑन द ग्लो ऑन द ग्लोब एंड इट विल ऑल्सो एस्टिमेट द द एरर एसोसिएटेड विद दिस विद द पोजिशन ऑफ दिस बेस बेस स्टेशन एंड दिस एरर एज बीन ट्रांसफर टू इन ए रियल टाइम टू दी टू दी रोबर स्टेशन and simultaneously this rover is also receiving signal from the uh, from from the satellite or gns satellite so it 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 it, it this rover uh, receiver has been able to calculate the uh, 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 its position on the globe uh, 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 in a, with a accuracy of centimeter level so in a normal scenario uh, the 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 receiver which uh, you are using your in your mobile phones or uh, in any kind of uh, satellite receiver that is actually associated with a error of up to 10 meter so that that uh, error range you can minimize with the using of this uh, this uh, 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 rtk technique so as I, uh, we were discussing that how you can achieve the centimeter la level accuracy by using the real time kinematics uh, gps receiver so this uh, through this method you you would be able to uh, get the position of any any area or any point on the on this uh, globe so this kind of data with with the high uh, accuracy data you can use to generate a high uh, uh, resolution dm that is the D digital elevation model or you can you can uh, uh, you can generate uh, the uh, uh, high resolution uh, terrain profile uh, that that you will ultimately uh, you can use those uh, those uh, Uh, point data or the, the, those uh, elevation data to generate the dm and as well as the uh, the uh, contour line or this this type of information you can use your uh, uh, in 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 a uh, in a train evolution model so now we will see that how uh, 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 how you can uh, uh, acquire data in the field with the use of the base uh, and uh, rover station so this is your tripod Uh, on this tripod we will mount our base station so that base station should be static and we will not move this base station so, uh, so the the concept is that here we have to mount our base station and this base station will pinpoint exactly the your this position so this position uh, the latitude longitude and the elevation uh, with the help of this uh, uh, base receiver it will uh, measure the uh, uh, point uh, latitude longitude and elevation so first step is that uh, you have to label this base station because if your uh, tripod is not label so uh, it will ultimately associate some error in your uh, point data so to label your uh, uh, base station you have to uh, put a labeler on on your tripod so first you have to fix your tripod and then you put a labeler on your tripod so this is your labeler here you can see one bubble Uh, at the corner of this labeler and three of uh, these wheels uh, are you can use these wheels to adjust the uh, or fix the labeler on on your tripod and this uh, this this is one key holder has been given on this labeler and the uh, with this uh, uh, locking system you can uh, you can uh, uh, put a stand on your labeler and that stand uh, uh, on this on that stand you have to mount your base station so here you can see the three uh, the three holes has been given and on this holes you have to put your mounter where you will ultimately fix your uh, base station so you have to first place this labeler on your tripod and you have to put this circle at the center to uh, uh, fix at a uh, precise level so first you have to uh, mount this uh, with this uh, holder and you have to fix this uh, labeler on the tripod once you have fixed this on your on your uh, tripod then you have to see that whether is whether your uh, 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 bubble is at the center or not if the, your bubble is not at the center you have to you can simply uh, uh, keep uh, uh, bring this uh, bubble at the center by uh, adjusting your uh, two leg of your tripod 
So the simple method is uh, uh, to uh, keep the uh, leveler at the center. You have to see the uh, 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 the simple way th uh, to fix your leveler is you have to uh, uh, adjust the two leg of your tripod, and uh, you have to see your leveler, and then you can simply adjust this one or this one or you can also choose this one or this one or accordingly you have to uh, the, the the third leg you have to keep it a uh, uh, stand and the another two stand or two leg of the tripod you have to ad, uh, you have to uh, adjust to fix the uh, bubble at the center once you have fixed your bubble and uh, uh, your uh, uh, bubble is at the center then you can mount your uh, uh, tripod on uh, 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 the base on the tripod so this is the stand this stand you have to use and the, this this is the uh, uh, here uh, you can see uh, some screw has been given on this uh, uh, on this pole and here you 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 have to mount your uh, base station that that would be your base receiver and here you can see uh, three fixer has been given and this fixer you have to put uh, on the uh, on the hole provided on your uh, leveler so with this uh, key you have to uh, you have to fix your uh, uh, this stand and once you have fixed your stand now you have to place the base station over your uh, uh, on this stand so this is your gns global navigation satellite system receiver and it is the uh, the model of the gnss of is gnss 14 here you can see the, the information regarding this uh, regarding this uh, receiver has been given over this panel here uh, this this receiver is gnss 14 and the another thing is your serial number of this receiver this serial number you have to use while you will use uh, uh, while you will connect your uh, base station and your rover station with the bluetooth so that i, I will tell you in in coming few minutes so here a uh, few things are given on on your uh, uh, on your receiver so first thing is here you can see this is the radio antenna fixer and with this fixer you can uh, mount your uh, radio uh, antenna and with, the, with this radio antenna you can you would be able to receive the signal from the uh, the satellites and this is the another uh, another point has been given and with this point you can directly connect your uh, receiver with the with your pc so you have to connect uh, uh, some cable uh, on this uh, uh, on this uh, uh, given positions and with uh, with this uh, uh, with those cables you would be able to uh, connect this uh, receiver with your uh, pc here the another you can see the here you have to mount uh, uh, place the battery so this uh, uh, receiver will operate or get the uh, 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 energy from this battery so here you can see this 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 is a lithium ion battery and this uh, battery is also provided by the leica leica is uh, the uh, the providing agency here uh, the another thing here you can see the sim card and the uh, the slot for the micro sd so all the data which is uh, receiving by these uh, receivers has been uh, accumulated on this uh, on this uh, receivers uh, or this uh, sd card so you have to uh, put the battery and then so here uh, once you placed your battery you have to lock this uh, this uh, you have to lock this uh, uh, button you have to press or you have to keep it up and then, then you you can lock your uh, fix your battery and the uh, this is the uh, uh, mountain holder and with this holder you can simply uh, mount your uh, receiver on the uh, on the tripod the another panel is when you can see over here so this is your signal panel and with the signal panel you would be able to receive or you can you would be get the idea about the uh, all the information regarding the gps receiver so this this one is your switch panel this one is if, uh, is your uh, function panel here you can see the battery signal so it will show you that uh, uh, how much battery is left out in your uh, uh, in your battery and this one is when you will connect your receiver with the uh, system so that signal you will uh, you can show over here this is the bluetooth signal 
and this one is the micro SD card signal whether your micro SD card is placed in in your receiver or not this 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 symbol is showing the uh, the uh, positions of the of your satellite whether the your uh, receiver is receiving satellite or not or what is the condition of the satellite that all information you would be able to see with this symbol and this one is your or uh, the uh, base and rover signal uh, this arrow are basically showing whether this uh, base is transporting uh, uh, transforming information to the rover or or it is receiving information from the base so this these two arrows are basically showing the base or rover information so you first mount your uh, your uh, uh, gps on the receiver on the uh, uh, tripod so after mounting your receiver on the tripod you have to fix this uh, uh, radio signal antenna on the on the uh, your gps receiver so you first mount this uh, antenna on this uh, uh, say antenna connector and then on this uh, uh, on this port you have to simply place your uh, radio antenna uh, uh, on with the gps receiver once you place this radio antenna now this uh, gps station will receive signal from the satellite so to on this uh, 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 receiver here you can see this power button you can use this power button and you simply press this power button for 2 seconds and once you press this now you, here you can see your uh, receiver is on and this all these signals you would be able to see uh, once this uh, receiver is uh, able to uh, receive signals from the uh, satellite. So here you can see this this uh, uh, green light is showing the uh, battery positions and this is the uh, Bluetooth symbol when you will connect this receiver with the uh, field remote uh, field controller so uh, uh, then you you would be able to see a uh, blue light over your Bluetooth function and this one is your micro SD card uh, position here you can see your my micro SD card is also placed so that's why it's showing the green color and this is the yellow light so this yellow light is basically showing that this receiver is receiving signals from the satellite so when your yellow light is blinking so that means that your receiver is receiving minimum four satellites and if uh, uh, receiving signals from minimum four satellite and when uh, this this is a constant light so that means it is uh, uh, receiving signals uh, more than four satellites or or the signal is uh, uh, enough to uh, uh, precisely locate its position on the globe and this uh, this blink this means that it, now it is uh, uh, working as a base station that means this uh, receiver is transporting signal to the rover station and if this one is blinking that means that this is working as a rover station this you will understand when we will show you that uh, how your rover station is uh, receiving signals from your base stations so now we will connect this uh, uh, gps receiver with our field controller so field controller is basically a uh, a operator or a, 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 with this uh, with using this field controller you would be able to uh, give all the information or you can see all the information because this field controller is associated with a software or that is a kind of mini computer so you can use that uh, field controller to operate or, uh, uh, or, uh, or to connect the base station with your rover station so first you have to set up this uh, base station to, to do the setup you have to use your field controller so now we will connect this base station with the field controller so we saw that how we mounted our base and before uh, 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 mark the position or uh, set up the base we have mounted the uh, our rover station similarly as we did for our base uh, mounting 
be mounted the base on the or uh, the mounted the rover on the pole so this is your pole and this this uh, this gps receiver we will use this one as a rover station so first we have uh, one gps uh, receiver we have used as a uh, base station and this one we will use as a uh, rover station so both are the gps receiver you can uh, use uh, one of your gps receiver as a, your base station and, and the another one your as your uh, rover station so uh, here you can see the uh, uh, radio signal antenna we have mounted and uh, uh, and the uh, this is the gps receiver that we have placed on the pole so this uh, the height of this pole you can adjust from here so this uh, uh, currently it is at the uh, uh, 1.8 meter so you can uh, by pressing on this uh, uh, on this lever you can uh, adjust the height of the pole so and uh, now uh, you can simply uh, the uh, the best part of of the uh, of mounting this uh, receiver on the pole as is that you can mount your uh, uh, and uh, your controller field controller on the uh, pole itself and with the helping of your field controller from uh, from the pole itself you you would be able to connect your field receiver uh, first with the base station and once you uh, set up your base station then you can shuffle your field controller, uh, controller from base station to your rover station so now we will show you that how uh, uh, with the using this lever you can uh, uh, mount your uh, field controller on the uh, pole so this is the uh, base platform where you can mount your controller on the uh, on the pole so here you can see one lever and this lever you can connect here so this is the screw and you can loose or tighten this screw by rotating anti clockwise or clockwise so once you loose this uh, screw and uh, you can uh, place your uh, screw over here so this you can place and you uh, 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 rotate it clockwise and uh, according to your uh, 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 according to uh, so according uh, according to your suitability you can adjust this adjust this uh, base platform and once you adjust or you tighten this uh, lever then you can place your field controller over your base uh, base of the field uh, field controller so this is your field controller and so this field controller you you would be able to mount uh, on the on the base of uh, of this platform so here you can see two lever has been given and this two lever you can place over this uh, uh, this two lever on the base platform so here you have to simply place this two whole lever on your base platform and once you place and you just simply uh, little bit press this so here you can see this uh, the this lever has been fixed with your remote controller and once this is fixed you can lock this uh, remote controller with your base platform be, with using this lever so this red lever when you press on on this direction so it is now locked to remove this you have to simply press from other side and now you can remove this uh, uh, remote controller from the base platform so now this one is fixed so you you would be able to uh, uh, use your remote controller while mounting on the pole of your uh, uh, rover station so this is your field controller as i told that this is uh, this work as a mini computer so here you can see one software has been given that is the smart work uh, viva lt so this uh, controller has been provided by the leica geo system and they have also provided this viva software so with this software you would be able to uh, connect your base station with the rover station and you would will, uh, you would also able to uh, acquire data from the field so you have to simply open this software so once your software is open so here on on the screen you can see it will ask you to create a new job or whether uh, you want to continue with your last job so we will create a new job from this uh, new job option and one you once you will click on the next so here you have to give some information regarding your new job 
so that uh, creating a new job that means the all the uh, all the data which you are going to acquire through this rtk method that would that would uh, 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 store in your uh, job which you are going to create so here you have to give a name for your job that would be the rtk So here you can see I have given a name that is the lab RTK. So uh, once you have assigned the name for your job, then you have to see that you have to choose the coordinate system in which coordinate reference system you want to acquire your data. So based on your locality, you can use the uh, geodetic coordinate system that is your uh, the WGS uh, 84 or you can also use the local datum system. So uh, for this area, this is the uh, UTM 44 so I will choose this UTM 44 if you want to ch uh, change your coordinate system you can simply go uh, uh, from the drag down menu you click the edit option and from here you can choose the uh, your uh, the coordinate system for your respective area so for this reason we have chosen the UTM 44 and once you have chosen the uh, uh, the coordinate system for your work or your locality you simply store the information once you have created the job so then a new uh, window will open and on your screen you can see some uh, information so uh, uh, one by one i will explain you that all all these informations are means uh, uh, what what the means of this uh, all these informations in here you can see this satellite symbol this is basically showing that how much satellite has been connected with your uh, with your uh, gps receiver right now this is uh, this receiver is not connected with the with your base uh, or rover uh, uh, receiver that's why it is showing the zero because because uh, on this receiver uh, uh, on this uh, uh, controller the uh, the controller is not connected with the your gps receiver and the another is this this symbol is basically showing that uh, whether this uh, uh, receiver uh, the controller is uh, receiving signal from your uh, 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 receiver and this one is the bluetooth symbol here you can see with these symbols you can connect your controller with the uh, 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 your receiver with the uh, uh, bluetooth and the this is the camera option so this uh, camera action, uh, option will enable or you can use the uh, camera which is inbuilt uh, on this uh, field controller and this is the battery symbol and this is on the main screen of your window these are all the functions which uh, you can use to connect your controller with the uh, uh, GPS receiver or you can uh, do the survey with the help of go to the work option that we will explore in few minutes and the another option is that uh, the uh, CQ that is your coordinate quality. So the coordinate quality when you will see the, uh, the, there is three CQ has been mentioned on your screen one is one DCQ that means that your uh, one dimension coordinate quality. So that means the uh, the uh, the uh, GPS location which uh, the uh, uh, receiver is receiving that is only in the vertical direction and 2D CQ that means in the horizontal direction and the 3D CQ that is your accurate or precise uh, location uh, in, in, in vertical as well as the horizontal direction. So to acquire a high, uh, high uh, 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 precise or uh, to acquire a precise location on the globe uh, this 3 dcq should be minimum so now we will sh uh, show you that how you can connect your field controller with the receive gps receivers so uh, to connect your field controller you have to go to the instrument from instrument here you can see one is the gps setting another is the connections and the instrument status first we will connect this and then we will explore the some of the options of this GPS uh, controller. So here you can see once you will uh, go to the connections option here you can see one is GS connection wizard, internet wizard and the all other connection. From the all other connections you, you can connect your uh, GPS uh, field controller with the GPS receiver. So here you can see one option is the CS internet another is the GPS rover. So on this GPS rover, 
currently you can see this is connected with the Bluetooth GS14. So you can uh, simply go to the edit option and here audit option because this sensor is GS14. So this is the model number for your uh, Leica uh, GPS receiver and the connection using you, uh, whether you want to connect your field controller with the cable or the Bluetooth. So two options are available here. So you can directly connect your field controller with the, uh, with the cable that I initially told you I show you one port on, on the GPS uh, uh, receiver and that port uh, uh, you can connect cable uh, 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 and that cable will, uh, you can also connect with this field controller. So with this cable option you can uh, connect your field controller with the receiver and the another option is Bluetooth. So today we will connect the with the Bluetooth option. Once uh, you have chosen the Bluetooth option, here you can see the last used rover. So by default it is showing that which GPS receiver is connected when you last use this field controller. So it is the showing the code. So this code is mentioned on the, uh, on the uh, GPS receiver. So this is the 995. So this 995 is uh, for the, uh, the receiver which we are using as a rover. So that we have to change or we have to connect this uh, uh, controller with the our uh, base station. For that you can simply click on the search option and once you will click on the search option it will uh, search the uh, available Bluetooth. So because our uh, the Bluetooth for the uh, base station is enabled so it will uh, search the Bluetooth for the uh, uh, here you can see all the available Bluetooth it is showing. So on the GS2870959, this is the Bluetooth ID for the our uh, base station. So we will click on this ID and we will click OK and you click OK and OK. So here now on this portion you would be able to see that when your uh, Bluetooth is connected, uh, uh, your rover uh, field controller is connected with a base station. So here uh, this connection will be. So here now you can see that this uh, uh, this uh, your field controller is now connected with your base station. And once your uh, field controller is connected with the satellite receiver, GPS receiver, here you can see this is the number of satellite. Now it is currently your base station receiver is receiving uh, signals from the 16 satellite. But to uh, the 14 or 15 satellite is currently available to uh, give the uh, precise location and the remaining satellite is basically associated with some kind of error. So that's why this receiver is not uh, uh, receiving signals from those, uh, those uh, uh, two, three satellites. So that you can see over on the sigma or G option, this is basically meaning that your, uh, mean that uh, your, uh, the, the available satellite which is uh, providing the location for your receiver. So once this, this has been connected here you can see the battery status for both your field controller and another is the GS that is the uh, GPS sensor or that GPS receiver. So once this part has been done your uh, uh, field controller has been connected with the, uh, 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 with the uh, GPS receiver. So you simply go to the work option and from the go to the work option here you can see few uh, few uh, options you can see over your screen one is your uh, over known point over last setup over any point or go to the rover menu so the simple meaning is that you have to first assign or you want to uh, acquire the point where you have placed your the uh, base uh, receiver on the globe so that if you if you know the uh, position of, of uh, for your base station you can simply go to choose this option and you can uh, uh, put the uh, latitude longitude for your known position. You can use the second option that is your uh, over last setup. So this option you, you can use when, when you have work on the same uh, location uh, and you want to again set up uh, your uh, system over the same lo uh, same point. So the, for that case, you can use this option, and for uh, you can uh, the third option you can use over any point. So this over any point uh, we will use, and that will ultimately uh, give you the uh, latitude, longitude, or uh, try to identify the location uh, uh, of the receiver uh, on this globe. So here you have to. Uh, 
give a certain information that is your antenna height so first you have to give the antenna height so this is your field controller as i told that this is uh, this work as a mini computer so here you can see one software has been given that is the smart work uh, viva lt so this uh, controller has been provided by the leica geo system and they have also provided this viva software so with this software uh, you can connect your base station and with the rover station and you would be ultimately able to uh, 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 acquire data uh, from height of your base station so this this uh, up to this height uh, uh, up to up to this height up to this height you you can directly measure from your uh, this measuring tape and this much is height has been that is your th uh, 3.6 cm so that is the uh, constant uh, uh, height and that instrument is automatically uh, measuring from the uh, from the software so that i will show you that how this 3.6 meter is been given on your software so another thing is here you can see once this uh, uh, this receiver is connected with the uh, your field controller so uh, this uh, blue light you can see over here earlier it was a green light flashing and now it is the blue light so the height of the uh, your base station is 1.22 so you simply use your uh, screen and you can uh, put your 1.22 meter so that is your 122 centimeter here you can see the vertical offset which i was talking about that 3.6 centimeter so this vertical offset is software is automatically calculated so uh, once you uh, 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 on this screen here you can see the 3d cq is 3.6 meter so that means the position which uh, uh, the your base base uh, base receiver is receiving that is associated with the error of 3.6 meter so this error you have to minimize by the establishing the rtk one, once your uh, base station is been connected with your rover station so this uh, uh, this error would be minimum so once you have uh, give the information so then you click on next so here you have to give the point id for your uh, your base station so that would be your 01 you can give any id so here once you have assigned the id uh, click ok now here you can see one information will pop up and that is written that base setup is completed press rover to return to the rover survey menu so uh, uh, so now the your base setup is been done and now you have to go to the rover option so for that you have to op uh, on your ro uh, rover uh, antenna so you press your power button and now you can see your rover is on so yeah, your base setup has been completed now we will move to the uh, rover option we will on the uh, your rover receiver and then we will uh, uh, see that how uh, we can connect or we can establish rtk or we can connect the base station with the rover station so we will stop here and in next lecture we will see that how we can connect the base station with the rover station thank you